Welcome to today's lecture on the lens and ciliary body. In this comprehensive script, we will delve into the intricate details of the histology, structure, development, function, pathology, pharmacology, surgical interventions, and aging aspects of the lens and ciliary body. Get ready to expand your knowledge and understanding of these fascinating ocular structures. The lens and ciliary body are essential components of the eye, playing crucial roles in vision and accommodation. The lens is a transparent, biconvex structure located behind the iris and consists of elastic fibers called lens fibers. It serves to focus light onto the retina for clear and sharp vision. Meanwhile, the ciliary body is a ring-shaped structure located anterior to the lens, composed of ciliary muscle and ciliary processes. It is responsible for adjusting the shape of the lens to allow for near and far vision, a process known as accommodation. The lens has a unique structure that contributes to its transparency and refractive properties. It is composed of specialized cells called lens epithelial cells, located towards the anterior portion, and elongated lens fibers, comprising the bulk of the lens volume. The lens fibers are arranged concentrically, forming layers known as lens lamella. These fibers lack organelles, including nuclei, to minimize light scattering and ensure transparency. Additionally, lens fibers are connected by gap junctions called nexuses, allowing for metabolic and ionic coupling between cells. The development of the lens begins during embryogenesis. The lens placode, a thickening of the surface ectoderm, invaginates to form the lens vesicle. The lens vesicle then differentiates into the lens capsule, lens fibers, and lens epithelium. Remarkably, the lens lacks blood vessels and primarily relies on diffusion from the aqueous humor and surrounding tissues for nutrient supply. This avascularity contributes to the lens transparency. Maintaining lens transparency is essential for optimal vision. The transparency of the lens is attributed to the precise arrangement and organization of its cells and fibers. The lens fibers possess a high protein content, predominantly crystallines, which contribute to the refractive properties of the lens. These crystallines are tightly packed and structurally ordered to minimize light scattering. Disturbances in protein organization or accumulation of abnormal proteins can lead to lens opacities, known as cataracts. Accommodation is the ability of the lens to change its shape, allowing for near and far vision. This process is regulated by the ciliary body and involves the contraction or relaxation of the ciliary muscle. When focusing on distant objects, the ciliary muscle relaxes, causing the tension on the lens to increase, resulting in a flatter shape. Conversely, for near vision, the ciliary muscle contracts, reducing tension on the lens, allowing it to adopt a more convex shape and increase its refractive power. The ciliary body consists of three main components, the ciliary muscle, ciliary processes, and pars plana. The ciliary muscle is a smooth muscle responsible for the adjustment of lens shape during accommodation. It consists of circular fibers, meridional fibers, and radial fibers. The ciliary processes are folds located at the attachment point of the ciliary body to the lens. They contain a rich vascular network and are covered by a double-layered epithelium with secretory capabilities. The pars plana represents the anterior continuation of the ciliary body. The ciliary processes are responsible for the production and secretion of aqueous humor, a clear fluid that fills the anterior chamber of the eye. The epithelial cells lining the ciliary processes actively transport ions, water, and nutrients from the blood vessels into the posterior chamber, contributing to the production of aqueous humor. This fluid provides nourishment to the avascular lens and cornea, maintains intraocular pressure, and facilitates waste removal. The ciliary body receives its blood supply from the major arterial circle of the iris, located in the posterior chamber of the eye. The ciliary body vasculature primarily consists of radial arterioles, which branch into a network of fenestrated capillaries within the ciliary processes. These capillaries drain into venules, forming the ciliary venous plexus, ultimately leading to venous drainage. Various pathologies can affect the lens and ciliary body. Cataracts, as mentioned earlier, involve the opacification of the lens, leading to visual impairment. Other abnormalities include ectopia lentis, dislocation of the lens from its normal position, and lens luxation, complete displacement of the lens. Ciliary body tumors, although rare, can also occur and may necessitate surgical interventions. Pharmacological agents can target the lens and ciliary body for therapeutic purposes. Medications such as meiotic agents can stimulate the contraction of the ciliary muscle, promoting accommodation. Additionally, pharmacological treatments, such as prostaglandin analogs, can modulate intraocular pressure by affecting the outflow of aqueous humor. Several surgical interventions may be performed on the lens and ciliary body to address various conditions. 
Cataract surgery involves the removal of the opacified lens and replacement with an artificial intraocular lens. Trabeculectomy aims to relieve intraocular pressure by creating a new drainage pathway for aqueous humor. Various techniques, such as FACO emulsification and extracapsular cataract extraction, are utilized in lens surgeries. As the human body ages, changes occur in the lens and ciliary body. The lens becomes less flexible, leading to presbyopia, the age-related loss of near-vision accommodation. Cataract formation becomes more prevalent with age, and the structure of the ciliary body may undergo alterations, impacting its functionality. In conclusion, the lens and ciliary body are complex structures with vital roles in vision and accommodation. Understanding their histology, development, transparency mechanisms, accommodation process, and involvement in pathology, pharmacology, surgical interventions, and aging is crucial for medical professionals. By gaining comprehensive knowledge of these ocular structures, healthcare professionals can provide enhanced care and management of conditions related to the lens and ciliary body.